I'm Katie and I'm here at the Columbia Springs Visitor Center and I came to visit some very special friends of mine. Let's go say hello. Here they are. I haven't come to visit them in a little while. So I'm gonna take off our covering here and let's see how they're doing. Oh my goodness, you guys are all up and swimming around. That's amazing. The last time I saw you, you were burrowed down deep in the gravel. And now look at you, you look so grown up. And I can't quite put my finger on it. What is so different about you than last time? Hmm, did you try a new hairstyle? No? Hmm. Did you uh, change something with your scales? Let's see, have you lost some weight? I can't quite tell. You do look very different. You do look very good. You're so cute. You know what? We should take a picture. Okay, everybody get together. Say swimming. Oh, that looks great. You know what? I'm gonna print this and we can put it inside of your baby salmon scrapbook. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, do you wanna see your picture? It looks great. So let's put it inside of your baby salmon scrapbook. Do you remember this? We haven't looked at it in a while. Let's take a look and see what's inside. Oh, do you guys remember this? This is when you were spawned at the Lewis River Hatchery. You didn't even have eyes yet then. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember this? This is when one of you hatched. You still had this eggshell attached to your head. And you said, help, I can't get my eggshell off my head. That was funny. And after you hatched, you wiggled so far down into the gravel. <laughs> You had your face all squished up against the rocks. <laughs> Looks kind of funny. Oh man, good times. Here you are today, learning how to swim. Hmm, but where should I put this photo from today? Should I put it on the Alvin page or the Fry page? Have you guys turned into Fry yet or are you still Alvin? Alvin or Fry? Hmm, you know what? I'm gonna ask one of the hatchery workers, Adam. I'm sure he would know. I'll be right back. I called Adam and asked him my question. He said he'd be happy to help me out. We planned to meet up near the hatchery incubation room, that's where they raise the baby fish, so he could tell me how they tell Alvin apart from Fry at the hatchery. Hi Katie. My name is Adam. I'm a fish hatchery specialist too with Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife here in Vancouver Hatchery. It's a great place to work. It's a great crew and it's a, a neat historic hatchery. So Adam, what's the difference between Alvin and Fry? So uh, sack fry, sack fry is another word for Alvin. After the eggs hatch, it's sort of the first stage. So they'll be laying flat on the trough bottom or in our incubation, laying flat. And as they absorb that yolk, they'll slowly transition into the next stage out of Alvin and into the fry stage. As they absorb the yolk, their bodies will start to change and they'll inflate their swim bladder. And that moves them up in the water column. As their body changes, so all the organs will start peel away from each other and start to, in that body cavity, find their placement. Um, and so after swim up is when we, we'll start checking on a daily basis for button up. So button up is when the scales are more or less forming and they close up around the yolk sac. So we're looking for button up as in, we see less and less orange, orange yolk. So as it disappears, then we call that button up. What? So they don't have scales at all when they're Alvin? Not like you think. They, it's sort of a, a, a small line, and then as their body forms, it more or less encases the yolk anyway. Their skin is almost growing with their scales at the same time, and then the scales are closing together. <laughs> so I'm guessing that hatchery workers have to keep track of whether they have Alvin or Fry, so you know when to start feeding them, right? Because when they're Alvin, I guess they're getting their nutrition from their yolk, and once that's gone, you have to feed them, right? So. Uh, we don't want to start feeding the fish too early and we don't want to feed them too late. If we were to miss our window and the fish actually begin to consume all of their yolk, so not the 20% we want left inside their bodies, then their organs will actually start to shrink and they won't be able to absorb feed at all in the future. And that creates something called a pinhead. In aquaculture, pinheading is when a fish that, let's say, doesn't start on feed early enough will actually not grow at the same rate as the other fish and end up being much smaller. So there's sort of a special window where we don't want to feed them too early, we don't want to feed them too late. Too, too early, it, it could kill the fish. And so we're looking sort of a special window and 
you know, if, if 75 to 80% of the fish are buttoned up, then we'll go ahead and move forward and feed. Mm -hmm. And better yet, I could just show you. That sounds great. Let's go take a look. So we're gonna check our winter steelhead. A little easier with the light. We're looking for the orange stripe and we can see maybe one that still has a full sack and all the rest are maybe just two or three days away of being buttoned up. These fish are really active so they're they're burning up and absorbing that yolk sack. I think we're probably at oh maybe 20% buttoned up at this point. Do you mean each fish is 20% buttoned up? 20% uh, of these fish in this cup are buttoned up already. So once we're at about 75% then we'll call it good. We stepped outside the incubation room to get a better look. Yep, I definitely see some pink yolk. OMG, look at those wiggly salmon. Those wiggly alvin, I should say. Well, most of them are alvin, and a few have buttoned up into fry. I can't wait to tell my salmon what I learned and to check if my salmon have buttoned up. Good luck with your salmon. Thanks, Adam. Back at the visitor center, a longtime Salmon in the Classroom volunteer had arrived and said she'd help me check if our salmon are buttoned up. She's done this before and showed me how it's done. My name is Alex and I go to Chris Line and um, in grade seven. Not grade seven, grade second. <laughs> second grade. <laughs> okay, second grade, not seventh grade? Yeah. I'm going to put some salmon in this glass bowl um, and I'm going to pick some up with this net. But the first step to getting the salmon out, we need to put some water in so they can breathe. Okay. So, I'm going to let it fill it up. Get some nice oxygen in here. Okay. Now, if you see this salmon down here, I'm going to scoop some or two. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get a little more than two. <laughs> I'm gonna get a couple more. So now we're gonna see if they're still Alvin or if they're not. We know they button it up into fry if we don't see any more pink egg yolk. Looking at the salmon close up from the side, they look like fry. But if you look underneath, you can see a little tiny pink line down some of their bellies. Can you see any pink left on these salmon tummies? What about this one? Just a tiny little pink line. How about this one? It's a little dark in here for me to tell, so we take our salmon outside for a better look. The lighting's a little better out here, but they're still kind of moving around. Here, let me freeze it for you. There. Now, can you see any pink? Almost all of these have pink, but wait. Yep, this one I think might be buttoned up. But still, we're looking for 75% of our Alvin that have buttoned up before we start feeding. They're definitely close though, almost buttoned up. Maybe tomorrow they'll be fry. I definitely don't want their organs to start shrinking and them to become pinheads, so I'll check tomorrow. What about the salmon at your school? Are they buttoned up? You should ask your teacher to take some out and show them to you. Then you can answer that question as a scientist. <laughs>